It's August and D23 is blowing our minds yet again. I'm Dan from ThemeParkNut.com and today we are going to do some D23 Mid Expo uh, speculation about Epcot. Before I start, let me say that all of this that I talk about here is speculation. It's currently uh, Friday night Anaheim time, so we've literally had the media preview on Thursday night, which had some initial announcements in it, and then basically the first day of the D23 Expo, which didn't have a lot of details about the parks and resorts. The majority of the big news is going to come in the parks and resort panel, which is coming on Sunday. But we have got a few little announcements on the Thursday night which we can talk about and a few things that we can now openly speculate about before we hear about the truth on Sunday. So we know we're going to get a new pavilion based around Moana. It's going to be called the Journey of Water. We're not 100% sure where it's going to be located but it looks like from the model and from the concept art that's been released of the whole park that it's likely to be in Future World at the front corner of the park. In the actual announcement it wasn't very clear where it's going to be located. They basically said it's going to be put in an underutilized area of Epcot. Whatever that means. But it doesn't sound like this is going to be a brand new Polynesian based pavilion uh, in World Showcase. We've seen some concept art about this new pavilion and we also got an attraction poster for it. But in the same display of attraction posters there was two attraction posters that are sitting there saying to be revealed on Sunday. So I thought today I might as well just run through a couple of things those could be and you know, see if we're right. Now to be clear, some of the attraction posters as part of this display are for former attractions and attractions that really don't have a hope of coming back unless there's some major rebranding in Epcot. For example, World of Motion. Test Track is Test Track and it's not going anywhere. So I'd be shocked if that became World of Motion again. But if the two covered up attraction posters were like former attractions or current attractions, That'd be a little bit disingenuous on Disney's part. So let's just rule that out. Let's assume there are two brand new things and let's speculate on what they're going to be. My first instinct and a lot of people's first instinct is to think of new countries for World Showcase. The obvious ones that come to mind for me are Brazil and India. They are the top of the list, best countries that would fit in World Showcase and add something new and fresh to World Showcase. Now, for years and years there's been talk of an African pavilion, but I think that concept is really dead. Um, basically because Animal Kingdom is like 80% covered with African theming at the moment and I think it does a brilliant job. So I don't think adding an African pavilion specifically um, to Epcot is going to happen anytime soon. There are other parts of the world that I'd love to see represented. Um, people have thrown around like Indonesia and Melanesia. Um, people have thrown around the Caribbean um, as an area that could be a lot of fun. I'm on the record saying I do not want Australia to be added to Epcot. I don't think it fits. I don't think we have enough unique architecture. Um, we have some food required for Epcot, but not enough to really cover having our own pavilion. I can't imagine having sausage sizzles out the front of a uh, Opera House clone. Um, it would just look strange compared to the other pavilions. I do however think Australia or more Oceania should be added to Animal Kingdom but let's leave that for another video. So if we're going to get a World Showcase edition I think we're either going to get Brazil or India and either of those I would be ecstatic at but to be honest I'd be stunned if we got one new country to World Showcase let alone two. So it's safe to assume that at least one of these posters is going to be for Future World and probably both of them. It definitely looks like the revamp of Epcot is focused on Future World and clearing out some of that and revamping some of that. So. I think that's where the weight of announcements is going to come on Sunday. So what else could we see? Well, Interventions. That's the big one. It looks like we're going to get a replacement for at least half of Interventions, probably Interventions West from, from the art that's been displayed. What that's going to be is a little unclear. People have thrown around the idea of a festival centre. 
Um, given the number of festivals that um, Epcot has, it probably makes sense. We could be getting a brand new build, just like Guardians of the Galaxy was, that was adding to the park in a brand new way. It doesn't look like we're going to get a replacement for the land, given that it's got its own attraction poster already there. Although there are some retired attractions, so you never know. It could be another festival. We know there's at least a couple of weeks every year that Epcot doesn't have a festival, and, you know, why not throw another one into the mix? It could be something that's the official replacement for Illuminations coming in. Um, that would make a lot of sense as well. We could be getting another themed restaurant in Future World, like we're getting with the space-themed restaurant, which would be pretty exciting. So, you know, let's consider that as a possibility as well. There are literally so many possibilities of what could be going into Future World that, you know, things like the Play Pavilion, I would never have anticipated that that's what they were looking at. Moana, for me, was entirely a surprise. I could see it coming to World Showcase if it was part of a bigger pavilion, but the journey of water sounds amazing and interesting and pseudo-educational, which is not what I expected from Disney at the moment. So I'm up for pretty much whatever they announce. What don't I want them to announce? I don't want them to touch Spaceship Earth. Let me be really, really clear. I'll be heartbroken if they're closing Spaceship Earth before the 50th anniversary of Disney World. I know there was rumours about a long-term shutdown and retracking and revamping of Spaceship Earth. Now, even that might not be a serious change to Spaceship Earth, but the amount of downtime would, it would be down for in a park that's already missing attractions would be catastrophic. Like I said, I'd be heartbroken, but I know it'll happen eventually, but I just I don't want to see it happen in the next five years. Not until they've got some serious new attractions that will cater to families uh, in the future world part of the park. So if I was going to guess, I would say we're going to get a festival centre that's replacing Innovations West. I would say the other poster is going to be for the replacement for Illuminations. That's not very exciting. I would love to be a Brazil pavilion, that would be amazing. Or even an India pavilion, that would be amazing. But that's what I think. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below before Sunday's Parks and Resorts panel. What do you think is coming to Epcot? Are they going to gut Future World entirely? Are they going to add new pavilions to World Showcase? I would love to know the opinion of other Disney fans, particularly those that are out at D23 themselves. Leave a comment in the section down below with what you think, so we can all be wrong together. Thanks for watching my video speculating all about the future of Epcot in the middle of D23. We'll be back on Friday with our regular theme park news in a minute videos, so tune into YouTube or your podcast cast app for that. No doubt it'll have a lot about D23 next week. In the meantime, you can check us out on Twitter at ThemeParkNut, on Instagram, ThemeParkNutInsta, or our blog is ThemeParkNut.com. Don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, cheers!